What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can downgrade from iOS 10.3.2 back to 10.3.1. Keep in mind there is a limited amount of time you can do this downgrade. So if you guys are watching this in the future it might not be possible to downgrade using this method anymore. I'll get further into that uh, later in this video. But as you guys can see here, we do have my iPhone 6. It is running uh, iOS 10.3.2. We're going to general and about so I can show you guys. So there you go, 10.3.2. Now the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go into your settings, go to your, um, your iTunes account here, go into the iCloud section, swipe down, and make sure you turn off Find My iPhone. As you guys can see, I do have mine turned off already. So make sure you do that. And then also make sure that your device, of course, is connected to your computer. And we're going to jump onto my computer now. All right, now once you're on your computer, we're going to go ahead and open up Safari and go to this website here. Of course, you can use whatever browser you want. Uh, but make sure you go to IPSW.me. I'll leave the website link for this in the description. Uh, this is where you're going to download the iOS 10.3.1 firmware from to downgrade to. So it's a very nice setup website. Uh, as you can see, we're in the home section. So what you're going to want to do is first off, choose which product you're downgrading. So I am doing an iPhone. Of course, choose whatever you're doing. I have the iPhone 6. And then right here, as you guys can see, it shows you which firmwares Apple is still signing. So they currently are still signing 10.3.2 and 10.3.1. That's what's going to allow us to downgrade. Again, if you guys are watching this in the future, and iOS 10.3.1 is no longer in the signed IPSW section, it's down in the unsigned, you cannot use this method to downgrade. So keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and choose iOS 10.3.1 as that's the firmware we're downgrading to. And then you can go ahead and click on the download button. Keep in mind this download will take a while. It's 2.41 gigabytes in size. So it's definitely a very big file size. Depending on your internet, it will take a while to download. So I've already downloaded it and put it onto my desktop. As you guys can see right here is the uh, IPSW. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up iTunes. Now, as you guys can see, my device is connected. It is running uh, iOS 10.3.2. Now, if you're on a Mac, what you want to do is hold the Option key and click on Check for Update. If you're on Windows, hold the Shift key and click on Check for Update. So we'll hold Option, click Check for Update. And what that's going to allow you to do is to manually choose which uh, firmware you want to update to or downgrade. Basically, that's what we're doing. So we'll select the 10.3.1 and click on Open. And then as you guys can see, we will get a pop-up here. It says iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 10.3.1 and will verify the update with Apple. Like I said, if it's not being signed anymore, the verify part will not work. So we'll click on update to 10.3.1. I know it sounds confusing, but it's downgrading, but it says we're updating. So let's go ahead and downgrade. And uh, I'm going to let it go through its entire process here, and I'll fast forward it for you guys, and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so I did get a pop-up here asking me to enter the passcode on my device, so I'm going to quickly do that. And now it is continuing to do the software update. All righty, my device is done downgrading. I did speed that up a lot. Just so you guys know, it took probably about six seven minutes ish so we're gonna go ahead and unlock our device go ahead and jump into settings I'm not gonna sign in jump into settings here go down to general and about and as you guys can see we have restored to version 10.3.1 so that is how you guys are gonna downgrade from 10.3.2 back down to 10.3.1 so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.